Hello and welcome everyone to the fifth episode of the Parallax Less Lens Felt series. Today we're going to be taking a look at events. We can listen to events by using on and then name on the event. Previously, before Svelte 5, we had to use a column, but now Svelte 5 has gotten a facelift, we don't need to use the column anymore. On my screen, I have a simple button and I'll use this to show you an example. So, right here, we can use on and then the name. So, as you can see from my auto completion, I'm getting column and then the name of the event I want to listen to. But since we are using Svelte 5, we don't need to use the column. We can just go ahead and write the name of the event. The one I'm going for, since this is a button, it's just appropriate for us to use a click. Now, on click. And in on click, we can write in here a function. You can use an inline function or you can have an external function outside. Both of them works. We're going to have an inline or an arrow function here. And we can actually do things here. We can get the events from here. And we can also just run a normal code. I'll be original and I'll run a console log. I was clicked. I'll save this and I'll check the browser now. We have this button right here. And let me click on it. You see on our left side, we should have I was clicked logged out. Test that and yeah, I was clicked. It's been logged out. That's how it works. You can actually use this for any other type of event you want to listen to, not just on click. We have on, as you can see, there's a bunch of them. We can also forward events to components. So let's use this use case where we have a custom button that wants to use all around our application. This button has some certain styles and some certain logic that we want to keep encapsulated in one component and use um, around our application. So how can we actually forward events to that button? So I'll get rid of this button here and right here I've created a custom button component so just bear with me with my <laughs> lack of creative examples yeah i have this button that says i am a custom button click me what i can do here is very simple first of all i want to create my script tag then i can take the event as a prop it's as simple as that nothing complicated let's see dollar sign props and here i can take on a click simple as that and i can pass now don't forget your equals to and i can pass on click is equals to on click and since this are bearing the same name we can just sorry we can just put them in curly braces and use a shorthand method now we are having this um, red lines because of this is a spitting typescript but i'm not bothered about typescript for now we can go back to our page and get the custom button component and we can pass a function to it so i can say function you don't need no params and we can also just console log right and say this is a function and we can pass this function now Anything could be inside this function. It depends on the kind of application that you are building. This is just an example, so that's why it's this silly. So I can now have the on click right here and I can pass the handle click function directly to it. I will save this and we should actually see this log out to the console when we click on the button. So let's check our browser. We see this button right here and when we click on this, hopefully, yes, we see this is a click function and it works. So I hope you guys learned something new. So if I made all this easy, previously we had to do things like this patch when we wanted to forward events and some very nasty stuff that were very hard to understand. But in Swell 5, all these are very simple, very logical and easy for beginners to understand. So if you guys have any question, the comment sessions are always open. If you need anything, let me know. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.